Hey guys, welcome. If you've been playing with the idea of buying NFT art, you must watch this video in its entirety so that you may understand some of the possible pitfalls and also to not lose all your money. I am not a financial advisor and this is in no shape or form any investment advice, but I do want to share some of my thoughts in the hope that it might give some people a uh, reason for pause. So in short, NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. You probably already knew that. These are issued and stored on a blockchain such as Ethereum. An NFT is a unique token representing ownership of a digital asset such as a digital file containing an image, music, or some digital asset of that sort. It can be bought, held, and sold on the market, albeit without any regulation of sorts. So think you have no legal recourse. When you own an NFT, you do not own the rights to the underlying asset. For example, if you own an NFT pointing to a digital image of a monkey or a cow or a whale or whatever, you do not necessarily own the copyrights to it. You may be able to use that image as your profile picture or something of the sort, but you really do not have copyright access to it. It is also important to know that anyone with access to this digital file can view this file, can download it, can print it, can take a screenshot of it. You get the idea. Also obvious is the fact that this digital ad asset is not a physical thing. It is definitely not a physical thing. So you cannot hang it on the wall or drive it or eat it or put it to any physical use whatsoever. Thus, outside of just being able to flex on someone that you own an NFT, there is really no intrinsic value in it. In this today's world with the advent of NFT though, for sure, it is empowering for digital artists of all sorts, being able to monetize on your craft and your digital art and be able to even receive revenues on resale in the secondary market is a huge deal. More power to the artists, I say. Although, as an investor, you need to be super cautious. Currently, the market is filled not only with real good artists, but it is also filled with some folks who are driven by the questionable motives just to cash in on this NFT trend. Some NFTs are mass produced using automated computer programs with almost no creative or artistic merit. Some of the shops making the NFTs hype up the value of the collections by means, any means possible using followers, using influencers, using celebrities or gimmicks to tout the NFTs and then cash in big. One can imagine other fishy insider trading activities happening between parties who know each other. This basically jacks up the price of the NFT, getting some poor, unsuspecting buyer to pay a higher price, thinking that the NFT is in high demand. It is easy to get carried away when you hear of mega success stories of people having bought and sold NFTs for incredible gain. You know, think the sorts of people, CryptoPunk, Board APH Club. Some of these success stories could be nuanced in ways difficult to imagine or in the worst case, outright shady. The underlying NFT technology can and does have some legit use cases. However, one is compelled to observe that the NFT art arena should be dabbled into with utmost care. Unless, of course, you have money to throw away or you're a speculative trader. If you're thinking of jumping into buying NFT art, you may want to pay attention to a few things. What are your motivations for buying NFT art? Are you trying to support a really deserving artist? Are you afraid of, you know, being left out of this movement? Um, are you motivated by greed? Can you afford these NFTs? Do you have any skills at assessing value of art? Can you 
protect yourself from hype that is generated by the shops selling the NFTs versus actually um, recognizing really valuable art? Do you have the constitution to stomach complete loss of your investment? Meaning, are you okay if nobody buys this NFT from you ever again? And also, you might want to consider the climate impact of minting NFTs. So before you jump in, keep all of these things in mind. Make sure you do a lot of research and then make your decision. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you find it useful. Uh, please like this video and also subscribe because it really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.